Hello. This video will show you how to configure your affiliate settings in JROC's e-commerce suite. First, let's view the configuration in the settings area. On the marketing tab, you'll see the options to configure for affiliate settings. Enable or disable affiliate marketing. If you want all of your new user registrations to automatically be activated as affiliates, set this option to yes. Set the default affiliate group that users are added to when they register. When new commissions are generated, you can automatically set what kind of status they will initially be in, with this setting. You can either pay commissions on a per item basis, or the total sale at checkout. If you want to first approve all affiliates when they register, set this option to yes. By default, users are redirected to the home page when someone clicks on an affiliate link. If you want them to go to a different page, like the store page, you can enter that relative URL here. Setting this option allows your returning customers to generate commissions for their referring affiliates forever, even if they do not click on an affiliate link anymore. This allows your affiliates to collect commissions on all the users they refer, for as long as you enable it. If you want all customers to be referred by an affiliate, you can require them to enter the affiliate's username upon checkout, if they have yet to click on an affiliate link. If you want to automatically approve pending commissions after a certain number of days, enter the number of days here. If you sell recurring subscriptions or memberships, and want to pay recurring commissions on those subscription products, set this option to yes. Set the minimum affiliate payout amount you want here. If you want affiliates to be able to refer customers directly to product store pages, you can enable this option and they can get direct product affiliate links on product pages when they are logged into your site. For example, if they want to refer customers to a specific product, and not have users land on the home page, they can do that. Now, on the tracking tab, you can specify what type of affiliate link you want your affiliates to use. Keep in mind, some may require extra configuration apart from setting the option here. If you want to overwrite any existing affiliate tracking cookies, whenever users click on an affiliate link multiple times, enable this option. You can enter the number of days for affiliate tracking cookies to be valid here. This setting enables tracking using IP addresses. Keep in mind, this is not as reliable as cookie tracking, as users' IP addresses often change. If you are using dynamic subdomains for affiliate links, you can restrict certain subdomains by listing it here, separated by commas. Alternatively, if you are using custom affiliate link types, you can specify the custom URL syntax in this field. For pruning tracking statistics, you can enter the number in days as to when that data will be deleted. If you are generating random usernames for your affiliates during registration, you can specify how it is done in the next few fields. If you don't want users clicking on their own affiliate link, then purchasing at your store, enable this option for restricting self-commissions. If you want to trigger commissions outside of e-commerce suite, such as a third-party script, you can enable this option and use the commission tracking key when integrating it. Copy and paste your Google Analytics code here if you want to use it. Traffic blocks allow you to manually set specific sites to block from referring affiliates to. Use this for rogue affiliates, or disabling affiliates who have old tracking links that you don't want to enable anymore. The get variable is used for appending affiliate usernames to your product pages if you want. If you have a matrix license, you will have access to the Network Marketing tab. This tab sets your affiliate downlines, forced matrix settings and downline options only.
Once you are done configuring your settings, make sure to save changes. Now, let's view your affiliates in the Affiliates section. Notice, those users that have their affiliate option activated will have an A set on their avatar photo. On the Affiliates Details page, you can view their affiliate link. Now, let's look at Affiliate Groups. Affiliate Groups are a feature in e-commerce suite that allows you to customize how much commissions you pay for each group. With this feature, you can pay specific affiliates a higher commission amount for that group, or even pay custom commissions per product item for each group. This is a great way to maximize affiliate performance by giving them incentives on reaching different group rates. For example, you can promote affiliates to a higher group level, based on the amount of commissions they generate. To add a new affiliate group, Click on the Add Affiliate Group button. Enter the affiliate group's details here, along with the commission amounts you want to pay for this group. After saving it, you'll see it listed on the affiliate group's page, where you can update it, as well as set the priority for it. To set up your promotional and affiliate marketing tools, go to the Affiliate Tools section. This section will list the different affiliate tools that your affiliates can use to promote your site. Things like banner ads, email ads, and social media links can be set up here. Here's a sample banner ad we will set up. If you want this ad to redirect users to a different page, enable this option. On the Preview tab, you can view your new banner ad. You can set up other affiliate tools like email ads, text links and more. Once you set it up, your affiliates will be able to access it when they log into their members area. Here's a sample of the social media sharing tool for Facebook. Let's log into the members area so we can see how it looks. Here's your affiliate's main affiliate link. Click on the affiliate icon to view the marketing tools. On this page, you'll see all the tools you have enabled in the admin area. Your affiliates can click each of these tools and get promotional items that they can use to promote your products and services. They can copy and paste this banner code on their websites. For social media sharing, they can click on the ones you have created and share it immediately on their accounts. To view your commissions, you can go to the Affiliate Marketing affiliate commission section this will list all of your commissions in the system if you want to update one just click on the edit icon to do so when it's time to pay affiliates you can do it from the affiliate payments section 
E-commerce suite has a variety of options for paying affiliates, including PayPal, Duwala, and invoice payments. Here's an example of paying an affiliate via PayPal. First, make sure to approve all commissions. Only approved, unpaid commissions will be added to any payment run. On the options page, you can restrict payments to specific dates, as well as exclude those affiliates, who have yet to cross the minimum payment amount threshold. Once you have saved your options, you can either generate a mass payment file, or pay affiliates via PayPal directly. Don't forget. Once you have paid affiliates, make sure to select the checkboxes and mark them as paid in the drop-down field. This will mark all the associated commissions in this payment as paid, and will no longer be added to any payment run. This concludes this tutorial on affiliate marketing with e-commerce suite. Thanks for watching.